Knowing the tide had turned against the rebellion, the local Mexican population did not want to sell their goods to the rebel soldiers for Confederate money that they knew would soon be worthless, nor did they want to incur the wrath of the oncoming Union Army. So, the rebels replenished what goods they could by just taking them from the local population at gunpoint. These predations against the largely Spanish-speaking population of the Mesilla Valley caused a lot of the Hispanic soldiers in the Confederate forces to desert. One Mexican resident of Mesilla wrote while the retreating army still occupied the city, the people here are with their eyes open toward the north, in the hope of being relieved of these locusts. More than 1,000 men are waiting with open arms to receive the liberal government of the north. In this context, liberal government meant a democratic republic with free commerce, not the martial law and forced requisitions that they'd known under Confederate Army administration. The Texans in the army were brutal on Mexican Arizonans who resisted, but many of the Anglo-Arizonan soldiers who'd started out as settlers, who had years of good relations with their Mexican neighbors, did what they could to put the Texans' behavior in check as the rebel army disintegrated. Lieutenant Jack Swilling, formerly a miner and Arizona guardsman from Pinos Altos, personally intervened and stopped Texas troops from taking livestock from locals in a small village north of Mesilla. Colonel William Steele of the 7th Texas Cavalry Regiment, who was the ranking officer in Arizona while General Sibley was roaring drunk, then sent for Lieutenant Swilling to report to him and explain himself. The gold miner and citizen soldier knew he was being punished for doing what he believed was morally right. So rather than be made an example of as a mutineer, Swilling simply deserted from the service. Swilling took off, along with nine other Arizonans who'd enlisted for military service specifically in Arizona and had no intention of going to Texas with the Confederate Army. On July 1st, a foraging party from Baylor's old battalion, the 2nd Texas Mounted Rifles, was on rear guard duty in the Mesilla Valley, looking desperately for beef to forcibly requisition from the local population. A group of local Mexican-Americans noticed the roving band of soldiers, took up their guns, and attacked the Confederates, killing seven of them and with only one escaping alive. Some sources claim as many as 40 Mexican Arizonans died fighting Confederate troops in this guerrilla action. This was recorded as the Second Battle of Mesilla, although at the same time, other stragglers of the nearby 7th Texas Cavalry were also harassed with hit-and-run attacks by Mexican Arizonans until they were out of the territory. Three days later, on July 4th, the Federal Army reached the edge of New Mexico, where the west bank of the Rio Grande looks into Texas. Mm -hmm. 